What's up everybody, Cole Sands Fishing here. You know I've been gone for a little while, life's been hectic the past few months, but I qualified for the 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series. Um, I'm super thankful, man. Uh, God has been so good to me. I'm, I'm a very blessed man and uh, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the support you've you've given me, the congratulatory uh, messages and um, you know, I, I couldn't have done it without a lot of y'all's prayers. So thank y'all a lot. But got something exciting, exciting uh, just got a huge shipment of Yozuri product. They came out with a new line of baits. It's the um, it's the 3 DRX series, which kind of features a very realistic pattern, as well as some smaller profile baits, which is awesome because I love throwing kind of downsized stuff. Me, a lot of times I use either really small stuff or really big stuff. So that finesse kind of style hard bait is right up my alley and something I'm super excited to share with you today. Um, so I got this huge box. I just kind of want to highlight some of the lures and uh, stuff they sent me. And, uh, you know, let me th know what y'all think in the comments. I'm going to kind of highlight the ones that I think are going to be really good fish catchers around my area as well as I, as I go through it. So let's, let's get into it. So for starters, this little dude is going to be a killer. I'm actually going to go ahead and take one of these out of the package. This is the Crank DD50. And it's a 50 size, which means it's really small. I mean, that thing's only probably two inches long, or well, this crankbait is supposed to dive up to, I think it says in the pack, 10 foot. I've heard if you put this on about eight or 10 pound line, you can even, even get it a little bit deeper. And that is going to be a killer pre-spawn, uh, large mouth and small mouth bait, um, especially on some of these clear lakes around here, like Lake Cherokee and Douglas and, and on to like Lake Watauga and South Holston. Um, you talk about a springtime killer and it's got a really unique shape. I've been throwing this around a little bit already in my pond, just kind of seeing it. Got a really uh, unique wobble as well. And I cannot wait to throw that this winter. That's definitely going to be um, a bait that'll be tied on my rod quite often. And it comes in a couple different colors as well. And I'll showcase those as we go. Um, here's the same crankbait kind of in a more of a green pattern. That is spring crawfish. I think that's going to be a great color as well. And uh, definitely one I'll have to experiment with this summer. Here is another crankbait. I'm so glad Yozuri came out with it. You know, something that was kind of missing from their arsenal, I thought. They've had a couple of other flat sided crankbaits, but this one right here is built just like I would build a flat side. And I'm gonna take one out of the package so you can really look at it. And that's the that's that 3D RX series that I told you about earlier. And this is a ghost sexy shad color. I think on Chickamauga, this is gonna be a really good color in the pre-spawn. Because a lot of times, if we haven't had any rain down here, the water is really, really clean. And you can still catch them cranking, but you have to go with those cleaner colors. And as you can tell, it's kind of got a prism pattern into it, so it looks hyper-realistic. And what I like about this flat side, it's supposed to dive anywhere from about four to six foot, depending on line size. But what I like is the thickness of the back. And this has got a really tight wobble on it. Got a kind of a almost a hexagon-shaped bill. Um... So it's gonna really deflect off cover. And that is one that is going to get thrown a bunch this winter. And what I like about it is a lot of flat sides you get, they're not heavy enough to cast with a bait caster. That one right there is plenty heavy enough. It's got a good little lead strip right here that really helps with the castability. So I'm excited to throw that one around this winter as well. And that's the flat crank 55. And all, all these baits pretty much in this, um, in this line of lures, they're all pretty much uh, downsized, you know, smaller bait fish uh, profile baits. Here is the Crank MR50, uh, just a little medium dime crank bait, same size as that first crank bait I showed you. Uh, just kind of a standard, you know, about six foot running crank bait. That's gonna be a really good one. That's the Ghost Sexy Shad as well. Here's some more of the flat sides. Can't wait to throw. Uh, that's the black back chartreuse. Going to be a great stain water color. You know, you got the ghost sexy for the clean water. And then that's going to be a great after some of them spring rains. And like I said, a lot of this stuff's pretty new to me. I only got to throw it a little bit in my pond. So I'll be doing a lot more lure testing this winter. And I'll give you um, some feedback in the weekly fishing reports as, as the winter goes. Um, another one of those small uh crank MR50s, and that's a kind of a chartreuse perch color. I think that'll be a really good muddy water color even around here, um, where you just have kind of a slight stain. It's almost like uh, the old school root beer color, but just a little bit more chartreuse. I'm excited for that one. 
And in that same um, that same line as that MR, you got the shallow runner as well. You know, you need it, need baits for both applications. And that's just the uh, Crank SR50 and the shallow runner, uh, Go Sexy Shad. And I think that'll be really good about, you know, this time of year, you got that November, December when the, the fish are on really small bait around grass. So I think that'll be a, a really good bait. Um, as well as stumps, you know, shallow stumps, this time of year can be really good. And that's just a little two inch bait that I think will be a killer. And I've just got in a couple different colors, that black back chartreuse. Got some, this is actually a really, really cool popper they came out with. Uh, I throw the Yozuri and the Hardcore Popper a lot, but they came out with this smaller size one, which is going to be really good in that fall transition when they're on that little tiny bait. And, you know, I'm always, um, you know, trying to really match the hatch, throw very natural colors. And that's a prism uh, silver black is, is the name of that color. And it's got that cool scale pattern. It's going to look really realistic. Always have to throw that feather treble when I'm throwing a pop R. And I think that could even be really good around the Mayfly hatch. Um, so that's what I'm excited about for sure. And uh, this one's really cool. So the Yozuri pencil and the pencil popper have been a bait I've been throwing for a long time. But they came out with a little tiny one, a little 75 size. And um, I think that is going, I know, I don't even have to say think, I know that's going to be a killer. Uh, and then that same time of fall time of year. And that's Prism Ghost Shad. And I mean, that thing looks awesome. Can't wait to use it. Uh, might have to wait for it to warm up a little bit because it's gotten cold down here in the south. But uh, I think uh, there'll definitely be a time for it. Also having a black, kind of an interesting color. I can see that being good in certain applications. One of my favorite colors is that one right there. That's the Prism Chartreuse Silver. I know you've heard me talk about it. Uh, what I like about this one, you can throw it out there and really see it, you know, when you work it back. And something about chartreuse, man, fish just seem to love. And I even think that could be a really good smallmouth bait. So I'm excited to throw it for some smallmouth as well. Got some more, let's see. Yeah. Got some more of the crank DD50s. Uh, that was the first crank that I showed you. Now that's that 10, 11, 12 foot diver. Uh, that's Ghost Sexy Shad. Going to be a good one around here. You know, when it's really cold and you need to get that crankbait down there to, you know, 10 or 12 feet, maybe they're on them steeper bluff walls. Um, this will probably be my favorite color, honestly. It's that first color I showed you was red crawfish. And I mean, it, it'll be great for muddy water, but when, you know, you got them little, little cleaner water situations or some of them really clear lakes like Cherokee or Norris, that's that translucent red crawfish. Uh, that's going to be a killer as well. And usually for that setup, most of this smaller crankbait fishing. I'm throwing about 12 pound Yozuri T7. Um, and sometimes I go down to 10, have even gone to eight before, but usually 10 or 12 is what I, I, I go for starters. Um, another color in that same crankbait, translucent brown crawfish. That's going to be a great crankbait for them really clear lakes. Uh, it's just gonna look like a, a natural crawfish and them fish are going to eat it. Some more of the really tiny pencils, uh, the 75 series bone, you can't go wrong with that. And then the Crank SR50, the, the small one in a, in a chartreuse perch color. I got that flat side in a little chartreuse perch color. I got some uh, tournaments up north this year, so I could even see myself using that color up north as well in a lake that has a lot of perch. Uh, we actually do have some perch down here on Lake Chickamauga, um, and the bass do eat them. Uh, there's a Couple swim baits I throw that really imitate that that perch pattern in the in the spring, and I could definitely see him getting on that crankbait as well. Small little medium diver in that brown color. Uh, that's going to be a killer. Little shallow runner, little red shallow runner. Um, I could definitely see that in the springtime being a fish catching bait. And you know, as these lakes we fish get tougher and tougher, this this small you know hyper-realistic, um, smaller profile than a lot of other crankbaits is, is really gonna start to play. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited that Yozuri has come out with this line of uh, product. Um, the flat crank, uh, they got it in a red color. You gotta have a flat side in a red color and, and that one looks as good as any I've seen. Uh, so that'll probably be my number one go-to, sh you know, shallow water winter uh, crankbait, if I had to guess. Came out with a new trap as well. Uh, that's the Vibe 60. 
and kind of a different shape, honestly. Uh, I got this one out and looked at it the other day. You know, the rat vibe that they make is hard to beat. I'm gonna have a hard time putting it down, but definitely always, always cool to have a different pattern and a, a different shape. And uh, it's something I need to throw because I know it's gonna have a different action, but kind of a one knocker. Um, and it's a red pattern, but if you look, it's actually kind of a prism pattern as well. I don't know if you can see it. So it's gonna really reflect light really well. And it's a lot thicker. Let's see if I got a rattling vibe handy. I do. So that's the, that's the rattling vibe, a little bit bigger in length, but that one's a little bit shorter. It's a lot thicker um, across the back and the bottom. So I'm gonna be interested to see how this one performs. Uh, but I, I definitely think he could be really good in some scenarios uh, where the fish are maybe getting really pressured on some other trap style baits. So I'll keep y'all informed about that one, but uh, definitely excited to try it out. Looks like I need to go out for about three or four days and just throw new lures and see what happens. But still got a few more things to show y'all. Uh, the same little pencil 75, but in kind of a golden black color. Got a couple of tournaments from Florida this year. If, if it's a real tough tournament, I could definitely see throwing that golden black one around, maybe on Okeechobee um, or maybe even Seminole. This is one I've actually already started using it and caught some fish on it. Uh, little Shad 60, kind of a Shad Wrap style bait, real tight wobble. This is a spinning rod crank bait in my opinion. You can throw it on a bait caster. I've done it before and it works. I like it on a spinning rod light setup. And that's Prism Silverback. Just looks really realistic. Uh, go sexy shad. Um, these are crankbaits you have to have in your boat in the winter time because they're going to get you bites when nothing else will. And that's that shad 60. And that crankbait there runs about six to eight if you throw in a light enough line. It says five foot. I was throwing it the other day and watching it on Pan Optics and I got it down to about seven. So um, that was on eight pound line. Another little popper and that little uh, prism chartreuse silver. That'll be a good one. Crank MR50, that medium diving uh, crankbait that came out within a chartreuse uh, black back. And then it came out with a jerkbait as well. Um, they, they already have a great line of 3DB jerkbaits. Hardcore has a great jerkbait that's out. This is kind of a different profile, kind of a small jerkbait that's an 80 size. And uh, I'm sure that'll be a fish catcher as well. There we go. That one should come with the fish because I know it's going to catch fish. Uh, that bone pop R, um, just a smaller profile. That's a 65 size, and uh, that will definitely be in my tackle box this year. Um, some more small, shallow running crankbaits in a brown color. You can see those being good on these Highland reservoirs around here. That's a fish catcher, I guarantee it. Uh, that's the red crawfish in that MR50 six foot diving crankbait. That's a small little crankbait. I mean, that thing is, it says two inches long. I mean, that's little bitty. Go six foot. Um, can't wait to throw that here in the springtime. Maybe you can go catch some smallmouth on it up around the dam. So that'd be pretty fun. And then the last in the 3DRX series is this little flat crank in uh, the brown craw, translucent brown crawfish, which now that I look at it in the light, it actually is a little bit translucent. So that will be a great crankbait as well. So that's pretty much it in the 3DRX series. Super excited about it. But one more thing I wanna show y'all before I go. And I've been throwing this around a little bit lately, catching some fish on it. And that is a Yozuri Twitch bait. And I don't know if I should even share this with y'all because it catches them so good. But it's a very unique bait. It's, it's kind of like a jerk bait. It don't dive very deep. It's a little bit thicker. Um, it's a slow sink though, so you can really count it down if you wanted to. But it comes in two sizes, a three and a half inch, I believe. Yeah, it's a three and a half inch. And then you got the bigger size, which is a four and a half inch, which I think this will be really good when they get on the gizzard shad on the Tennessee River. Something that's kind of in between a topwater bait and a jerk bait. And like I said, it's a slow sink. If you just kind of twitch it around, it goes about a foot, two foot deep. And, um, you can throw this in a lot of the same areas people are throwing a rattle trap. You can catch them in them. A lot of the same areas people are throwing a jerk bait. Or you know when the fish are on top water and they kind of get off it, you have a couple of them colder days, slow it down with that thing right there and you'll catch them. 
Um, depending on the size of the bait, like the four and a half inch, 16 pound line. Uh, this one I either throw it on 14 or 16, but 16 pound fluorocarbon seems to be kind of the standard for it. And uh, that's the 3DB Twitch bait. Um, there's already been a lot of tournaments won on this. A lot of people have been keeping it under wraps and it comes in a variety of really good colors. You got uh, that top color is Ghost Pearl Shad, which is one of my favorite trap colors. You got Ghost Sexy Shad on the bottom, um, which is a killer. I'll show you a couple more colors. You got a hyper realistic, uh, that's a real gizzard shad. I mean, that's going to catch some big fish. Uh, here's a very realistic, I think this would be very good for spotted bass. This is one I'm excited. Maybe if I get, go back to some of those uh, places like Hartwell or different places like that, I think this, this will be a really good one. That's prism sexy shad. And uh, it's a bait you can fish really fast too. And I think over cane piles, that could be a really good bait. Uh, bone, you got to have a bone style bait since it is similar to the top water. Then um, you got real bluegill, which I could see maybe in the right scenario on Okeechobee. I, this kid right here could produce some really big fish if I could find, um, you know, find a shallow scenario with, with some fish eating on brim. I feel like that could be a, a killer. So that's it, guys. You know, um, I'll be sure to keep you all updated on the performance of these baits throughout the winter. But uh, y'all go out and check them out. You know, they're, they're brand new, haven't been out that long. And uh, like I said, there's going to be some fish catchers in that lineup. So y'all be sure, check them out. Um, order them at your local tackle store or tackle warehouse, wherever's convenient for you. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.